Hey guys, I'm Rohan Rahul. Let's have a look at the next topic, which is profit and loss, which is as important as percentage because it comes with two to three marks. Now, starting with the basic thing, there are four types in profit and loss. Okay, type one you have the basic, type two you have discount type, type three you have dishonest shopkeeper type, and type four you have miscellaneous type. We'll talk about each type one after the other. Okay, let's talk about basics. Now, what is profit? What is loss? Okay, now we purchase a product and that. Purchasing cost is called the cost price, because that's the cost incurred. Let's say you bought something at rupees five hundred, but your manufacturing was at rupees five hundred. Okay, now you can increase the price and sell it at selling price. Let's say your selling price is six hundred. The increment here, which is of rupees hundred, is going to be your profit. All right. Similarly, if you have the same thing, rupees five hundred, and let's say you want to shut it down or you want to just Close your venture, and let's say you decrease by rupees hundred and sell it at rupees four hundred. This is going to be a loss. So simple as that. Okay. If you increase the cost price to get a selling price, that's profit. If you decrease the cost price to get a selling price, that's loss. So keep in mind, profit or loss is basically calculated on the cost price. Okay. However, realized. On the selling price. Let's take this forward from here. Now, if you've noticed, if you've carefully followed my percentage lectures, okay, you might have noticed multipliers out there. Now, in multipliers, what we do is we basically try to increase something or decrease something. So keep in mind when cost price is increased by a particular percentage to obtain a selling price, this transaction is a profit transaction as cost price is increased to selling price, and if the cost price is decreased by a certain percentage to obtain the selling price, this transaction will be a loss. All right. So I'll give you a simple example. Let's say the cost price is increased by twenty percent. Now twenty percent. I'm so sorry for the reverse. Uh, okay. Now twenty percent. Twenty percent is basically one by five. Okay. Now the cost price is increased by one by five. It becomes six by five. Obviously, so in this case, selling price is nothing but six by five times the cost price. So in the in 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 case of cost price rupees five hundred, selling price will be six by five of five hundred, which is six hundred rupees. Okay. Now in the same way, let's say I say twenty percent loss. So twenty percent loss is one fifth loss, one fifth reduction. In multiplies, I taught you when one fifth reduce it becomes four fifth. So in that case, selling price will be four by ti- five times the cost price, which is as good as four by five times five hundred. Which is nothing but four hundred rupees. So it is as simple as that. So profit or loss percentage is nothing but the increment on the cost price to get a selling price, or the decrement on the cost price to get a selling price. I hope this is pretty clear. So percentage is all about increment. I mean, profit or loss is all about incrementing or decrementing the cost price by some percentage value. All right. So let's take this forward. Let's look at the types. So type one. Now, where we have a very basic type, where we will not use this particular concept right now, but we'll just understand the kind of questions that you have. So basic type. Now, in basic type, what do you have? Okay. The first thing that you have in the basic type is something like selling price of twenty articles is equal to cost price of twenty five articles. Find the profit or loss percent. Okay, now you've been given selling price of twenty is cost price twenty five. I'll show you three four methods, and I mean you can choose whatever suits you the best. But I suggest you the best method as per me as well. So let's say selling price of twenty is cost price twenty five. What you can do the first method is now since selling price of twenty and cost price twenty five is same, what I'll do is I'll take a number that can divide both twenty and twenty five so that we have a comfortable. Way of solving the question because the numbers would be convenient. So I'll take a multiple of twenty and twenty-five. Now, if you notice, the multiple of twenty and twenty-five both is hundred. You can take any multiple you want. I just took it hundred. So I get selling price of one. Now, since selling price of twenty is hundred rupee, selling price of one is going to be five rupees. Cost price of twenty-five is hundred rupee. So cost price of one is going to be rupees four. So I have selling price of one is five rupees. Cost price of one is rupees four. All right. Obviously, I made a profit because my selling price is more than the cost price. Now, what is the profit that I make? I make a profit of one rupee. Okay. So, what will be the percentage profit? Profit of upon the cost price because profit or loss, as I mentioned, is calculated on CP. Okay. So, I straight away have one by four. One is basically the profit I make. Cost price is four rupees. I make a profit of one rupee on four rupee into hundred is going to be twenty five percent. So, in this case, your profit is twenty five percent. I'll repeat the method for you. Selling price of twenty articles is cost price of twenty five articles. I have twenty. I have twenty five. I can straight away take a number that can divide both twenty and twenty five. That is hundred. So I get selling price of one as an integer, 
the idea of taking this number as a multiple is because you get integers out here so selling price of one is five rupees and cost price of one is four rupees so i get straight away profit as one rupee and percentage profit will be 25 percent keep in mind since you're calculating percentage profit the numbers are i mean you can assume anything you want to because ultimately it's going to be a ratio okay so even if you assume thousand you get 10 and you'll, you'll get 10 here and 40 here so it's going to be the same answer 25 percent all right let's take this forward uh the second method out here now second method is a little more exciting i, I like this method a lot okay uh, selling price of 20 selling price of 20 is cost price of 25 okay let's understand what do you mean by cost price of 25 selling price of 20 cost price of 25 means the amount you invested in purchasing 25 articles because the cost of 25 articles is supposed to be considered the amount you invested in purchasing 25 articles you got that back in selling only 20 articles which means you saved five articles for yourself all right because the amount you invested in purchasing 25 you're getting it back at 20 okay which means five articles are your articles which means all you gotta do is let's assume you purchase 25 chairs you purchase 25 chairs and you got the money back by selling only 20 chairs which means five chairs you can use it for your own furniture so you're saving five chairs for yourself okay uh, basically you're saving five articles coming back to the articles you're saving five articles for yourself okay uh, as i mentioned earlier profit or loss calculated on cp realized on sp you realize any profit or loss when you sell something you don't realize un until i mean you don't realize when you buy it okay you obviously realize when you sell it okay so you're saving five articles on selling 20 articles so on every 20 you sell okay you can keep five for yourself and that's precisely your profit five by 20 is again 25 percent so this is a little more conceptual method if you notice okay i mean this is one of the best methods it's better than the previous one okay but the previous one you got to assume values and here you can just look at the numbers and get the answer so i'll repeat this again you are buying 25 and getting the money back the exact money back by selling 20 which means you save five articles for yourself so you save five articles on selling 20 articles and that's going to be your percentage profit 25 percent all right the third method is like a ct method i would say i mean this is like no brainer at all you don't have to think at all all that you got to do is i mean this method is basically uh, inspired from this method itself okay all that you got to do is Find the difference between the articles which is 5 divide that by the sp articles which is 20 and multiply by 100 and that would be your profit or loss percent all right it's as simple as this let's take one more example let's say you have cost price of 20 articles is equal to selling price of 25 articles i've reversed the situation out here so this is the example number two and i've reversed the situation cost price of 20 is selling price of 25 now when i say cost price of 20 is selling price of 25 you can use any any method you want to okay but i'd suggest we'll use the second method so what you can do is again understand you purchase 20 and you got the amount back by selling 25 which means five articles you had to give from your pocket because you purchased 20 and you have to get the money back for getting the money back you got to sell 25 which means five articles you have to pay for which means obviously you make a loss you make a loss of five articles on selling every 25 articles again the concept remains same profit or loss is realized on sp okay so you make a loss of five articles on selling 25 articles and that in 200 is going to be 20 percent loss so that's how it works it's very simple you can take one more example if you want let's say let's say you have something like this cost price of 40 is equal to selling price of 35 i'm taking uh, easy numbers just to make sure the concept is in place and the calculations can be taken care of later i have cost price of 40 selling price of 35 so which means by purchasing 40 i'm purchasing 40 and i'm getting the amount back by just selling 35 so i save five for myself i save five on every 35 5 on 35 is nothing but 1 on 7 you need, need not multiply by 100 if you know reciprocals 1 on 7 is as good as 14 2 by 7 percent you can refer it back refer back to my session on reciprocals and you'll get an idea okay you can take another example let's say i have cost price of 55 is equal to selling price of 65 which means i'm now making a loss because i'm purchasing 55 but getting my money back by selling 65 so 10 are going from 10 are going from my pocket 
10 on 65 into 100 is going to be the profit loss percent 10 on 65 is basically 2 on 13 into 100 and you can just use approximations or may, you may just solve this completely 200 by 13 keep in mind in CET you will not have to solve this entirely as a percentage value you'll you'll find options to be very far away from each other so you can just approximate this 200 by 13 uh, you can always say 200 by 13 is 13 you know 13 square is 169 13 15s is going to be 195 so around 15 percent is going to be the answer because 13 15s are will be around 195 or something okay so around 15 percent slightly more than 15 you can mark any answer which has 15 point something as the answer all right uh, i think the concept is by far learn so this is one of the another types of percentage and profit and loss question where you have sp and cp comparison directly okay so that's it for now you can watch my videos and purchase my videos online for uh, viewing the other types of percentage and we can take it forward from there. Thank you very much. Have a great time ahead with your